Following two failed Starship launches, Flight 7 and 8, a catastrophic explosion on Flight 9 would be a major setback for SpaceX and Elon Musk, potentially damaging public trust and jeopardizing partnerships with NASA and the DoD. Investor confidence could plummet, leading to a severe financial crisis. However, SpaceX claims to have rectified the issues and Elon Musk confirmed Starship's readiness for the upcoming flight. This raises the crucial question, what specific fixes were implemented and are they truly sufficient to guarantee success on Flight 9? The stakes are exceptionally high as a successful Flight 9 is vital to maintain momentum and demonstrate the feasibility of reusable spacecraft. Any further failures could significantly impact SpaceX's future and its ambitious space endeavors. In the demanding field of rocketry and spacecraft development, perfection isn't achieved overnight. Continuous refinement, encompassing thousands of upgrades, is essential for maximizing mission success and safeguarding astronaut safety. This relentless pursuit of improvement is crucial for SpaceX, making it a mission-critical priority. Their commitment to streamlining the testing and troubleshooting process for Starship is evident in their recent FCC filing. The filing requests authorization for launch vehicle communications during Starship Test Flight 9, slated for launch between April 7th and October 7th, 2025. This timeline aligns with Musk's estimate of a four to six week turnaround time, suggesting a launch within the projected timeframe. Many are hopeful that this launch will mark Starship's successful orbital flight. However, a conclusive success cannot be guaranteed. Analysis of recent flight data and subsequent modifications to Ship 35 indicate a potential for orbital launch and safe return, though there are still unknowns and significant challenges ahead. Flight 8's problems with Ship 34 highlight the intricate complexities of rocketry. The Raptor engines, crucial for the mission, experienced a catastrophic failure. Cryogenic fuel systems, while vital for cooling the engines, are susceptible to leaks and structural issues, leading to overheating and failure. A single vacuum engine failure cascaded into the shutdown of all three central Raptor engines, causing a loss of control and ultimately a major explosion. This incident, similar to previous flight issues, raises concerns about the reliability of the Raptor engine designs. While some argue that SpaceX hasn't significantly improved the engines, the failures stem from a confluence of factors. Analysis strongly suggests that structural resonance, where vibrations amplify dangerously due to external forces aligning with the vehicle's natural frequencies, played a significant role in both Flight 7 and 8. This resonance, potentially amplified by the longer airframe in the latest iterations, could have triggered failures by causing oscillations in the fuel lines and critical engine components. The complex interplay of vibrations and structural integrity in spacecraft like Starship poses a significant challenge. The inherent oscillations of the engines and fuel systems interacting with the vehicle's structural frequencies can lead to dangerous resonance. These issues were highlighted in previous flights in the latest upgrades, including a longer airframe and adjusted propellant flow, potentially alter these frequencies, creating a new set of potential failure points. If the oscillations match these new frequencies, vibrations could escalate, causing fuel line failures, critical part damage, or interruptions in the cryogenic flow. Static fire tests, while useful, don't fully replicate the dynamic conditions of flight, potentially masking these issues. Advanced diagnostic techniques like high-speed acoustic and vibration analysis are necessary to capture subtle vibrations in real time. Sophisticated sensors and 4D acoustic mapping systems could reveal the spread of vibrations through the vehicle, highlighting weak points. Similarly, incorporating AI and machine learning, training neural networks on past failure data could enable the prediction of potential issues weeks in advance. This combination of sophisticated tools and intelligent systems could help anticipate and mitigate critical issues, thereby increasing the likelihood of successful future missions. SpaceX's response to the recurring issues with Starship, particularly for Flight 9, involves a multifaceted approach. Immediate fixes are prioritized to address the specific concerns of Ship 35. This includes extensive thrust tests, reconfiguration of fuel lines to mitigate resonant vibrations, adjustments to Raptor vacuum engine fuel flow and propellant temperature, and modifications to thrust settings. 
Improved venting systems and nitrogen purging of the avionics bay are further measures to prevent potential fires caused by leaks. Critical flap upgrades are also crucial. Previous flights highlighted damage from re-entry heat impacting control during landing. SpaceX has repositioned the forward flaps, reducing heat exposure, and adjusted their angle for improved stability. A backup heat shield layer reinforces protection. These comprehensive measures suggest a concerted effort to address previously identified problems and enhance the ship's overall reliability for Flight 9. These adjustments and improvements indicate a substantial effort to improve the reliability and safety of the Starship system. Thorough preparation for Flight 9 extends beyond the spacecraft itself. SpaceX is meticulously scrutinizing launch pad systems and critical support components. This includes water deluge systems, quick disconnect mechanisms, and other essential elements of the launch process. Addressing potential issues with these systems is crucial to ensure a smooth and safe launch. SpaceX conducted rigorous ground tests on Ship 35 at their facilities, simulating flight conditions with extensive cryo tests. These tests included pressure and temperature simulations to ensure the spacecraft's structural integrity in extreme conditions. Completing these tests is vital for confirming the structural integrity of the spacecraft under severe pressure and temperature changes. Simultaneously, the Super Heavy Booster, B-16, underwent its own cryo-proof test and is now preparing for engine installation. Once the launch pad is ready, the booster will undergo a static fire test to check engine functionality. Subsequent integration and checkout tests complete the preparation. SpaceX is also evaluating the possibility of using a previously flown Booster B-14 as a potential alternative. This comprehensive approach ensures all aspects of the launch system are prepared for Flight 9, minimizing potential risks and maximizing the likelihood of success. A successful Flight 9 is crucial for SpaceX's future, particularly given the two prior failures. Maintaining momentum and investor confidence hinges on a successful outcome. Avoiding a third failure in a row is essential for the company's continued progress toward crucial milestones, including orbital propellant transfer and the ambitious goal of a fully reusable Starship. These objectives are directly tied to the financial viability and long-term success of SpaceX's endeavors. A successful Flight 9 is vital for overcoming the perception of high risk associated with the Starship program and reassuring investors. The financial investment in a single Starship second stage, estimated at $10 to $20 million, highlights the significant cost implications of each launch attempt. Minimizing expenses through successful, reusable launches is paramount to long-term profitability. A successful belly flop landing, as seen in past test flights, is a significant cost-saving measure compared to ocean or land landings. While a landing at the dedicated pad is ultimately desired, potential delays in pad B construction mean a different approach may be necessary for Flight 9. A successful Flight 9 would not only bolster SpaceX's reputation, but also maintain its competitive edge against rapidly advancing nations like China. China's recent Tianwen-13 mission, aiming for a 2031 Mars sample return, underscores the intensifying global space race. This mission, coupled with similar ambitions from other countries, heightens the pressure on SpaceX to deliver. Starship's critical role in NASA's Mars sample return and human spaceflight missions adds further weight to the importance of Flight 9's success. The success of Flight 9 is paramount for demonstrating Starship's readiness and maintaining SpaceX's position at the forefront of space exploration. This critical juncture requires a perfect execution to secure the trust of both partners and the public. A successful mission would solidify Starship's potential as a reliable and reusable spacecraft, paving the way for future advancements and further exploration endeavors. The stakes are high. A successful Flight 9 directly affects SpaceX's ability to maintain its competitive edge in leadership in the global space race. In conclusion, Flight 9 represents a critical juncture for SpaceX. A successful mission would significantly enhance the company's reputation and bolster investor confidence. It would also demonstrate the reliability and reusability of Starship, a key factor for future missions. The stakes are high. A successful Flight 9 directly affects SpaceX's ability 
to maintain its competitive edge and leadership in the global space race. The upcoming launch represents a culmination of years of development, countless hours of testing, and substantial financial investment. The mission's outcome will have far-reaching implications for future space exploration endeavors, impacting not only SpaceX's trajectory, but the entire global space industry. The potential for success, while exciting, also necessitates careful consideration of potential challenges. The challenges are real and significant, but a successful Flight 9 carries the potential to be a pivotal moment in human spaceflight history. This success will further enhance SpaceX's standing in the ever-competitive global space sector. SpaceX press on with pre-launch testing while working ship issue mitigation. SpaceX continues to press on with pre-flight testing for Flight 9 while internally looking to resolve issues with the ship that has resulted in the loss of the first two Block 2 vehicles. Ship 35 and Booster 16, the potential pairing for Flight 9, have been cryo-tested at the Massey's test site, Ship 34. Ship 34 did not complete its objectives and was lost following what looks like a Raptor vacuum engine explosion at around T plus eight minutes and seven seconds. This resulted in losing all three Raptor center engines leading to off-axis thrust. This led to an uncontrolled tumble after which the ship was destroyed during re-entry or had an additional explosion. The Raptor vacuum failure may have been caused by the regenerative cooling manifold on the nozzle extension burning through, potentially caused by uneven liquid methane flow through the propellant lines. A large uncontrolled propellant leak into the engine bay was seen at around T plus seven minutes and 50 seconds. This resulted in a fire that then led to the demise of Ship 34. If those lines were to resonate with the engine vibrations and other propellant lines, severe damage could occur leading to a break or a much higher leak rate than any onboard purge system could dissipate. This would then lead to a possible engine fire and the loss of the ship, as well as cause disruptions in the flow to the engines, possibly leading to the issue on the Raptor vacuum engine. This kind of problem is very hard to test on the ground because SpaceX uses LOX as ballast to hold the ship down during the static fire. The liquid would dampen vibrations inside the LOX tank preventing accurate data. Without official word from SpaceX, it is unknown if this is the real problem or, if it is, when it will be fixed. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk stated on X that this is a minor setback and the next ship should be ready within four to six weeks. Whatever the issue is, it could be fixed in that amount of time, but SpaceX has just lost two ships in a row at around the same time during ascent. If SpaceX and Elon Musk want to prevent timelines for propellant transfer, ship catch, and many other milestones in the Starship program from slipping further, SpaceX can't really afford to lose a third in a row. Future ships. Following the failure of Ship 34, SpaceX did not stop ship testing and production. Ship 35 has completed three cryogenic proof tests and should be returning to the production site this week. Ship 36 had its transfer tubes installed the night of the launch after crews returned to work, and has since had its engine section installed as well, thus completing the stacking work for Ship 36.